Mainstream firmly holds in the view that galaxies with higher redshift are the oldest and furthest objects. New images are pushing their theories to breaking point. In a new image captured by ALMA, astronomers claim to have captured an image of a galaxy which sits on the edge of our observable universe. This galaxy would have formed a mere 1.4 billion years after the Big Bang. But when they examine its properties, it once more throws their models of galaxy evolution on its head. So is there a different way of looking at this? Using what mainstream describes as a gravitational lens, astronomers have managed to capture a glimpse of a galaxy that they believe sits on the edge of the universe. This galaxy is one of the oldest and furthest ever imaged. It is believed to be 12.4 billion light years away, meaning it formed just 1.4 billion years after the Big Bang. The problem is that this galaxy does not fit their model of what should be there at this particular time and it has no business existing in this early universe. The galaxy itself is called SPTS J041839-4751.9, and it was discovered in the Sky Survey using the South Pole Telescope. Initially, it was merely flagged as an interesting target, as it appeared to be dusty and also producing many new stars. Follow-up observations were then made using the ALMA array of telescopes. They were able to capture an image of this galaxy, and to their amazement, it formed a near-perfect ring. They therefore believe that this was being caused by a galaxy in between us and the faraway galaxy, distorting the light into a ring through a lensing effect. Now that it forms a perfect circle is very, very rare indeed, and requires what they call a perfect alignment. This galaxy is believed to be a starburst galaxy which creates new stars at a very high rate. These types of galaxies are thought to be very turbulent as stars create massive solar winds and supernova explosions. This should create a very irregular shaped galaxy, generally more spherical than disk shaped. Using the data and making many assumptions, they attempted to reconstruct what this galaxy might look like. When they did this, they saw something odd, as this galaxy was not a blob shape, but instead was a disk shape and appeared calm rather than chaotic. And this goes against what their models had predicted, but this galaxy is not alone. Earlier this year, astronomers had discovered what they called the Wolf Galaxy. This too was a very early galaxy formed about 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. Clearly, their theoretical models are getting something wrong. So let's break this down a little, as there are a number of aspects that I think are important to discuss. Let's for a minute examine the image without any preconceptions. Here we have a near-perfect circle, and I see many similarities with other gravitational lens images that we have looked at. Here we see clear blobs along the circular pattern. The brightest of these appear almost across from each other. We also see a thin band which again is mirrored on the opposite side. And there also appears to be some wisps which come off some sections of the image. And again, this is something that we have seen before. Now we've also seen shapes like this not only in the gravitationally lensed images, but also in the more recent strange circular radio images that could not be explained. These, however, were attributed to objects much closer, and hence they could not invoke a lensing cause. When we looked at Halton Arp's evidence and covered his work on gravitationally lensed images, we saw many examples of material that was ejected in semicircles from active galaxies. Arp speculated that some of the arcs that were attributed to lenses instead was simply the material that was ejected along an arc and that it would have a much higher intrinsic redshift due to the fact that it had been ejected from the active galaxy. Could it be that this is what we are seeing here? When we discussed the possibility of plasma redshift with Jim, we also saw that maybe these expanding plasma shells could cause redshift due to the plasma itself. Is one of these shells undergoing recombination right in front of our eyes? Now, if this is the case, then we would obviously expect there to be a host galaxy which created this material. So where is it? Well, remember that they claim that this is a gravitationally lensed image. The galaxy they think is responsible is a foreground galaxy with a redshift of z equals 0.263.
compared to the ring which has a redshift of z equals 4.2. So could it be that this galaxy is ejecting material in a ring? Sadly, I can find no mention of the galaxy itself, nor what type it is. Now the question also is whether they had to remove this galaxy from the image, as it would have to sit right at the centre of the image to create the perfect circle. Another interesting aspect is that they were able to measure small changes in the redshift to identify the relative velocity of the gas in the ring. This they used to reconstruct the galaxy and identify that it was more disc-shaped with a rotational velocity. If we examine these images with a relative change in velocity, they also raise many questions. Firstly, if we assume that they only correspond to velocity changes, then this paints a picture of a ring that is expanding in the north and south areas, but not in the east and west direction. In the east and west it appears as if one is moving towards and one is moving away. If this is all intrinsic, then again something odd is going on. Now of course this could also be a lensed image, if not by gravity then maybe by plasma, surrounding this galaxy at z equals 0.264. And in that case, we are looking at a normal galaxy. If we are correct, and this is a starburst galaxy, then we would indeed expect this to have a much higher redshift for a number of reasons. We have previously seen a study that does indeed point to these types of galaxies having a much higher electron density. This in itself may cause plasma redshift, making it appear as if it is further away. It may also be that this is an example of a younger galaxy which has a higher intrinsic redshift, as we have seen in many of the examples in the ARPS evidence series. This would also mean that this galaxy is not at the edge of the universe, but is more likely much, much closer. Again, we do need to be cautious about this, as the resolution is not particularly high, and I would also point out that ALMA images do seem to favour circles. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.